Hey and welcome back. It's Jake here. It's Jake who... Jake who needs some kind of an intro. Because people who just started to watch probably don't realize that I used to be a minus five doctor myope and now I have 2020 without surgery or any kind of stuff. And I find it frustrating that the mainstream just tells you that there's nothing you can do. That it's like if you Imagine that if somebody said to you, if you're skinny, you can never gain weight and have muscles, or, or, or if you're overweight, you can never lose weight. And that's kind of, that's sort of what, what mainstream optometry likes to have you believe, that your eyes are broken somehow. And your eyes are definitely not broken. And, and especially coming from me, who had high myopia, and I have very good natural eyesight now, I... I mean, everybody needs to make money, whatever, that's cool. But it just bothers me that you don't really get an alternative. You know what I mean? Anyway, we were going to talk today about contact lenses for outdoor use, but instead I want to talk about progression. Specifically a story of when I went from minus 1.5 doctors that I was wearing to not wearing glasses at all. And... This is not something that, that maybe you want to replicate. I generally recommend small decreases when they make sense, when your eye chart measurements tell you that it's time to reduce your prescription, quarter day after decreases are the right way. But let's just use my story to, to illustrate a point. So what happened is I started at minus five, even though I was only wearing minus four, and I figured all this stuff out over many years. And by the time I was at minus 1.5, I had a really strong grasp on the fact that key to improving your eyesight is having reference. Your visual cortex needs a reference. You need to know that you need, your visual cortex needs to have that this is how it's supposed to look and not like this. So not wearing glasses and being in blur all the time doesn't do you any favors at all. You want to have clear vision and you want that clear vision to be challenged sometimes. So when I was at, at 1.5 and I decided to stop wearing glasses, it was, it was because I had a very good understanding of if you're reducing your prescription, you're reducing the distance you can see clearly, right? So I went from minus 1.5 and I had this much to zero and now I had this much. But at a closer distance, you can still see clearly. and if you've practiced active focus for years and reduced your prescription for years, there's a point where your appreciation for what isn't blur, what is kind of like double vision, has increased a lot. So you can look at objects a bit closer and you can realize, okay, this isn't double, this isn't blur, it's double vision, so I just need time to resolve it. And what ended up happening is I was looking at the world around me without glasses and it was like, like there was like a layer over it, you know, like a layer that I just wanted to blink away. Like it felt like I can see everything perfectly clear, but it's just like a little bit off, not blurry, but just misaligned. And that was a really powerful experience because it led to, I wrote about this in the blog, the first moment where I could see perfectly clearly. And it was just like the film was removed, right? Like I went from, man, I know how clear this should be because I was wearing minus 1.5s for a while to suddenly without glasses it was just perfect and once you have that experience once you have you're wearing the right kind of glasses you reduce them a little bit not by a doctor and a half like I did but you reduce them a little bit and you have that reference of how clear it should be and as you practice eventually you get that clear flash and things are clear again and once that happens it happens more and more frequently because the whole system is just attempting to realign itself to function correctly because your eyes aren't broken. Your eyes are not broken. Myopia is just a bunch of BS that we talk about a lot. Anyway, so really important 
right? To not just stop wearing glasses. Really important is to maintain a perspective of clarity and double vision image and blur. And being able to prepare yourself for a situation where you're like, okay, I put on these new glasses that are lower prescription or I went from low myopia to not wearing glasses and all the while that, that you're looking around, it's like, man, it's just like a layer that you just want to take off, right? There's an expectation of clear vision that you know you should have. And that context is what helps you improve your eyesight, right? It's not the defeatist thing you get at a lot of optometrists that, that, that set you up for failure by telling you that your eyes are broken. And you want to always be wearing something that corrects your eyesight to a point where you always have that reference of clarity, right? If you just reduce your prescription or if you just stop wearing glasses, you don't get that like, this isn't right. And you, you need the this isn't right feeling. You need that, hey, yesterday everything was perfectly sharp and now it's not right. So while that's a little bit different than I want to talk about today, it's really important. It's really important to realize that, yeah, okay, you can stay skinny, but you could get bigger by going to the gym if you wanted to. Your eyesight is not amazing, but it's not amazing because you haven't done something productive about it. And that's really what this whole message is about. And that's really what I want to relate to you as much as possible, that experience of if you do see prescription just a little bit and you learn about active focus and you learn about blur horizon and you learn about clear flashes and you have that experience then then you see that it's not impossible anyway that's today's talk in the park this whole thing needs like a it's like an intro and it needs a theme i like doing them in the park because it's it's Sometimes I feel like I should get an, an optic shop and just have like professional background, you know, like eye charts and, and, and glasses and stuff. But then I like the park. I like the, you know, here. I like that, I like that it's nice out and that, right? Because this is, Because this is really what, what eyesight is meant to be about. It's, it's meant to be about seeing clear in the distance. It's meant to get away from Facebook and endless YouTube and go outside and slow down and appreciate what you can see. And, and myopia is just a, a, a symptom of the bigger issue, you know, of, of quick fix for everything and, and consumption for everything and taking no personal responsibility for anything. And, there are the people who are not like that, but it's really hard to find me, basically. It's really hard to find somebody who knows what they're talking about to tell you the truth and to tell you how to take action. Anyway, that's enough of this ramble. If you like this video, if you like this kind of video, give it a thumbs up, vote with the thumbs. If you don't like it, don't like it, and we'll be more on point on the next one. And, but if you do like it, we'll make more. See you in the next one.